I took you so long. You know I pee slow. That's why I had to quit swim team. You quit swim team because you hated running. Why should I have to run for swim practice? That's unfair and stupid. Oh, I'm so bored. I mean, today has been like so, so sad, but now I just want to go home. I don't want to go to the stupid teen talk back. Those things are always so dumb. I don't know. I feel like the best part of USY was always the intellectual debates. Uh -huh. <laughs> Or that was probably hard for you with someone's tongue down your throat the whole time. I found that pretty stimulating, actually. <laughs> You're so gross. Okay, at least I didn't have Ben Schwartz's hands down my pants like somebody. Yeah, you had Ben Feldman's. True. Ugh, at least him stabbing me in the vagina with his boiled fingers was more fun than today. He's like trying to get a peanut out of a tiny bag. I wanna hook up with someone who's experienced, like me. You know? You've hooked up with like three guys. <sighs> okay, you've hooked up with one and you kept your jeans on. What? I'm just saying, if this was a competition, I would win. Yeah, I'm sure you would. Okay. Do you think I'm pretty? Don't be stupid. I think I'm like, Hey, looking. I'm not classically beautiful or whatever. My nose is weird. Stop it. You're pretty. Would you ever kill yourself? No, I don't think so. Neither would I. But if I did, which I wouldn't, I'd do what Samantha did. Pills are so easy. I guess you could hang yourself, but that'd be kind of hard. Sledding a wrist in a bathtub could be cool, but so emo middle school, you know? <gasps> Shit. Do you have concealer? Concealer? Do you have some? Like, in your purse? Um, for me, yes. For you? No. You can hardly see it anyway. Do you think Tristan's a good kisser? No clue. Rachel Feinstein says he's like really good, but she's a pathological liar, so who knows if that's even true. Wait, didn't Tristan and Samantha used to up? Oh, yeah, I heard about that. But then he took Lauren Silverstein to homecoming. I remember seeing them kiss during the slow dance. So tragic. <laughs> I wonder if I'm a good kisser. I thought you were so experienced. Well, I never, like, dated anybody. So? So, I haven't exactly had any returning customers. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Stop. Kiss me. What? No. Do it. No. Please, I need to know if I'm like the worst kisser in the world. Okay, I can tell you right now, you're probably not the worst kisser in the world. Just pretend I'm like Zach Horowitz or something. Zach Horowitz has back hair. Okay, fine, pretend I'm someone else. Pretend I'm Mr. Danielson. <laughs> Stop. I know you think he's so hot when he pours those beakers. <gasps> Mr. D, will you come over here and help me with something? Oops, I dropped a beaker. I know that's a safety hazard. I don't want to kiss Mr. Danielson. Then kiss me. No. Come on, just do it. It'll be like a second. Fine. That doesn't count. Yes, it does. You asked me to kiss you, so I kissed you. Okay, there's no way you determined anything from that. 
fine. All right. Well, I guess I'll never know if I'm a good kisser or not. And then one day I'll kiss someone and they'll be like, that was awful. And I'll die of shame because my best friend was too... <laughs> cool. Thanks. Yeah, totally. Ladies, what did I tell you about being in here? Sorry, Laura Klein. We were just leaving. Good. See you in my classroom in five minutes, correct? Yep. Mm -hmm. I believe she's the one running the talk back. It's like Hebrew school, but worse. Yeah, I think her real job is in grief counseling. Truly the last person on the planet I'd want to counsel my grief. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we should probably go. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just, yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Kill me. <laughs> Oh, God.